Hey, what's up guys? Um, so, if you see my other video, I built my uh, 96 uh, Force GT and I've gathered parts slowly to build the 95 one. I uh, just wanted to go over some parts um, before I build it. Um, so I got the crank. I'm going to do one piece crank. Um, and then I'm going to take this all off and just do the handlebars with the brake lever and I'm gonna put this back just on one side since it's not gonna be multiple gears over here um, hopefully I could do that I've never done it change the seat uh, well I'm gonna bring this outside load it up in the car bring it to the bike shop and let's see how this thing looks um, hopefully it looks cool and it, it's rideable this bike is just way too big for me um, and I still got to build this bike and I have another GT over here and I also have a Sonelli back here that I need to start working on as well um, but this video is about this blue GT it's a size 54 um, and I think it's a 95 from what I remember um, I got this wheel from um, Alibaba I believe it was cheap i wanted to get um the the arrow spokes i believe it's called but it was like almost like 400 bucks 500 bucks shipped and it was just a lot of money for a wheel for me it cost way more than the bike um and i believe i got that white wheel for like if i believe i think it was just like 160 bucks shipped um i'm gonna keep the gears in the back and i got this one rim that i found on ebay it has like blue on it hopefully it looks cool um but yeah i'm gonna bring this bike outside and lay out the parts more so you can see everything brought everything and downstairs uh last night i kind of put the stem and handlebar together with the brake and the grips because i just want to bring less stuff to the bike shop looks good um so i'm gonna get that put on the front wheel uh the new crank pedals and then I have both of these cables, both white. I think they should only have to use one since I'm only using rear shifters and rear brakes. I don't need the front or the other shifter that controls the bigger uh, crank. Uh, this is a rear wheel and then I got these good, good thick tires. Um, all right, peace. what's up guys i finally got the bike back it took like two three days um and here it is um so i put the front wheel on it changed it to shifting up here i wanted to keep the um handlebar like with the minimum stuff so no front brakes um so here she is um i wasn't able to put my um one piece crank up here um, because the crank I had gotten was uh, too thick for the chain I had so I would have to change the chain and the cassettes in the rear so um, he said he would be able to take the other two um, chain rings that were on this crank and make it look like one piece which that's what it looks like now so that's the only thing I didn't get to put on there but everything else went on there perfectly uh, the white seat white handlebars I think it looks really good um, and I, I brought out my other bike. I think I'm gonna sell this one just because it's it's just way too big of a bike and I might just sell it and keep the wheels and just sell the frame um, But yeah, I'm happy how this bike came out. This fits me a lot better. I could ride it I don't know if you could tell on camera how much bigger the other bike is and like the seat is all the way down on this one And it still feels so big um, like I said, this one's a 54, and I believe this one's a 58 or a 60. Um, so there's one thing I don't know if I should do or not. I had ordered these stickers a while ago, um, and I was thinking about putting the smallest ones, the small GT ones, on the wheel somewhere. Um, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to rock it plain like that. I feel like it stands out a lot, like, like just the plain wheel. It stands out a lot. Maybe after I get bored with it, I'll put the GT stickers on one side. Um... But yeah, tell me what you guys think. If I should put these stickers on the front wheel, maybe just on one side to see what it looks like. Um, tell me what you guys think about the build. Um, like I said, I'm, I made these videos just in case anyone else has a GT Force just laying around in the garage. You can find these on the marketplace or on eBay or 
anywhere on the internet. They're not really that expensive. You could, like I said, I got this one, I believe, for like 200 bucks max. And this one was just as much. It was, I think it was like 160. I'm not sure. It was, I know it was, both bikes were under 250 bucks. Um, and you can make them look like this. And these bikes are sitting in people's garages, just rusting away, or they're just old bikes. Um, but I'm very happy how it came out. Um, yeah, man. Tell me what you guys think. I'm going to do a little video of me going up and down riding it and that'll be pretty much it for the video. Um, but yeah, tell me what you guys think. Which one do you guys like better? You like this one or this one? They're two different type of blues. I don't know. I like this one too. I think the color scheme on this one is so good. And then the dark blue with the white, the white just pop, pops out so much. It looks so good. I didn't want to do the rear wheel white as well because these wheels are pretty heavy. I just didn't want to make the bike just like overly heavy. Um, but yeah. all right guys that's it for the video uh please like comment subscribe um my next video will probably be some car stuff my gc8 is still stuck over here collecting dust um i have all the parts for that but um please like comment subscribe my next video will probably be some car stuff or i'll probably finish up my purple dino bike that i need to finish up and then i also have that green Sinelli bike um so if you like like stuff please like comment subscribe and uh i'll see you guys soon peace